Okay guys, welcome back to Southern Girl Cooks. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back. Those of you that are that have been sent here by Granny, I do appreciate you and shout out to Mornings with Granny. So the first thing that today we're going to be making my broccoli cheese casserole and this was a request by one of my subscribers. I'm gonna link her name down below. So it's a really quick and simple recipe. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna grab, I have my bowl here. I'm gonna to mix together some cream of mushroom soup. Now I'm using Campbell's. You don't necessarily have to use Campbell's. I like to actually buy a lot of generic ingredients, but this is what they had at my grocery store. So we're just gonna mix, mix this in. I don't know about you, but I like to wash the outside of the can before I start to cook with them. Just in case there's something on the outside of the can that you don't want in your dish. Okay, so we're just going to give this a nice whirl. The next thing I have here is I have some mayonnaise. We're going to throw that in here. This is really one of those side dishes, or you can make it your entree, um, that takes little time to prepare, but the final product is pretty impressive. So, Just a couple more ingredients for this portion of it. I have some diced onion. Now you can dice this as fine or, you know, as coarse as you want it to be. Typically I would uh, dice mine a little bit more than this, but I guess I was lazy today. So we're going to dump this in. Next I have one large egg. I'm going to dump this in. Now you want to make sure that you beat the egg. If you forget to beat it prior to dumping it in, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you mix it very well, okay? So I'm just whisk the ingredients together. Make sure they're nicely uh, combined, evenly distributed. Okay, now we're gonna set that to the side. Make sure, guys, that you have your oven ready to go, that you've already set it, preheated, preheated it to 350 degrees. Now, what I have here is an eight by eight pan. I've already sprayed some nonstick spray in it. So what we're gonna do, I have a bag of frozen broccoli. You can use broccoli cuts, you can use broccoli florets. You can, whatever you wanna do is up to you. So you're gonna just dump that in and make sure that anything that's, already, that's stuck together still, because it is frozen, you're gonna put it in here frozen. Although if you thaw it out, it's no big deal, but I like to cook mine with it already frozen. I like to break up the larger pieces too. Again, that's up to you. You don't have to do that. That's just what I do. Okay, now what we're going to do next, the mixture that we just put together, we're gonna dump that in. This smells amazing, guys. Guys, you're almost there. Only a few more ingredients and you are gonna stick this in the oven and let it do its thing.
Okay. I'm going to throw some salt and pepper in there. Mix that in. Okay, the star of the show, our cheese. So we're gonna mix that in. And as always, I'm going to make sure that I link down below in the description box and also on the screen, you'll see on the screen how much of each ingredient that you need to use, okay? Isn't that pretty? The cheese just makes me happy. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna bring in some crackers. Now I use, this is Great Value or Walmart's version of Ritz crackers, but you can use Ritz crackers or whatever crackers you like. You're gonna get a, a full sleeve of them. And we're gonna crush them. Now the way that I like to crush them is, I like to stick them in a Ziploc bag, grab my rolling pin and beat them. However, you can just kind of determine how fine you want your crumbs to be. This is the topping for your casserole. We're going to mix this with some butter or margarine, whichever one you have. The only reason I stop with the rolling pin is it's probably pretty loud in your ear. to grab our melted butter or margarine whichever one you're using you're just gonna dump that in Ooh, have the dropsies today so mix that up make sure you really get in there and mix up that butter and don't do like I just did make sure you seal the bag back up so you don't miss all of that be those beautiful buttery crackers. Guys, so I was having technical difficulties, but anyway, I went ahead and I covered the the mixture, the broccoli casserole with those um, beautiful crusts or cracker. Crumbs yeah, that so we this did. is our beautiful dish that we prepared today. Like I said, it didn't take long at all for us to create this. It cooks in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm just going to pull that apart so that you can see that. All that nice goodness is still sort of bubbling up. You probably can see that steam on there coming off. So what we're gonna do now is put some on a plate and we are going to taste this bad boy. So guys, as you can see, the steam's coming off of it. I just put some on a plate and I am going to taste it. <laughs> It's super hot, super hot, super hot. Mmm. Guys, that is so good. 
Guys, that is wonderful. That really is good. And you know what else you could do with this? You can throw some rice in there, some more cheese and a little butter, and you can turn it into broccoli rice or broccoli cheese and rice casserole. You can do that too. Mm. That's really good. Guys, this could be a meal. You can make it a side. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. That butter crust really does something special. Now, if you don't like butter crust, you can take that. You know, you can omit that. That's fine. Ooh, but why would you want to? That's so good. Guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Enjoy your holidays, guys. This is the Sunday before Thanksgiving.